Did I just invent this? Or did somebody already come up with this? A couple weeks ago, while I was out in the parking lot practicing my slow speed maneuvers, I was getting tired of practicing the same exercises over and over. While I was setting up my cones for the U-turn, the good idea fairy struck me. What if I put two single serpentines on each side of the U-turn box? Well, whistle me Dixie. And this is where the handlebar was born. Why do I call it the handlebar? Well, quite frankly, it looks like a handlebar. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and perform this exercise. Now let's hop into it. Now for this exercise, oh. Now for this exercise, I'm gonna be using these cones right here. I picked up these cones off of Amazon and they are absolutely perfect for slow speed maneuver practice. Now the reason why, ugh. The reason why I love these cones is because they're super transportable. You can stuff these into your saddlebag, no problem at all. If you're interested in purchasing these cones, I'll go ahead and leave an affiliate link down in the description. We're gonna start off with setting up the U-turn box. We're gonna go ahead and use these four parking spots for our dimensions. This will give me 18 feet in order to complete the U-turn. Now, if you're a beginner, I suggest using three parking spots and this will give you 27 feet to complete the U-turn. That would be more than enough space. And then as soon as you start getting better, you can slowly start making the box smaller. So now all I'm gonna do is just place the cones along the lines. Now that we have all those cones set up, let's go ahead and set up the single serpentine. To set up this single serpentine, we're gonna start at the end right here where this cone is, and then we're gonna walk about 10 paces, which is gonna be about 10 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're just gonna place our cone. And then from there, you're gonna do about 15 paces from each cone, and that'll give you about 15 feet. Now, once you're done setting up those cones, you're just gonna repeat the same exact steps on the other side of the U-turn box. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're starting at the corner of the U-turn box. We're gonna walk about 10 paces, and again, that'll be about 10 feet. Boom, and now we're just gonna walk another 15 paces per cone. When you're all done setting up these cones, it should look like this. All right, now let's go practice. When you're starting this exercise, you're either gonna start on the left hand or right hand side of the U-turn box. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna start off on the left hand side. So let's start up the bike. So now we're gonna start entering into the serpentine and you're gonna wanna aim right in the center of the two cones. You don't wanna come in too close to the front or the rear or you're gonna not give yourself enough room. Once you come through the center of the two cones, you're gonna swing all the way out and then you're gonna come swing all the way back in trying to hit the center of the cone. And then you're just gonna keep on doing this until you reach the end, just like this. Keeping your head nice, straight, looking straight up and weaving. Now once you hit that last cone, you have to swing all the way out so that way you can make it into this U-turn. Let me go ahead and move the camera and show you what I mean. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna back up a little bit so that way I can show you exactly what I mean. We hit the center of the last two cones and then you're gonna wanna have to swing all the way out here so that way you can swing into the U-turn. And you should end up right about here. This is where we're gonna move into the U-turn. When you enter the U-turn, you wanna try and stay as close to the edge as possible so that way you have enough room to complete the turn. You're gonna come in, make sure you use all your space. You're gonna want your front tire about right here before you start your turn. Because if you cut yourself too short, you're not gonna make it. So we hit this right here, and then you're gonna turn your head and eyes, look over your shoulder, Follow through the U-turn there. Now let me show you the, the weave and the U-turn combined, what it should look like. So I'm coming around, center of the two cones, center, head and eyes are looking straight forward, hitting the center of the cones, boom, hit the last cone, swing all the way out, turn your head and eyes, 
coming into the U-turn. Front tire comes all the way out there. Gives a little bit of rear brake, and boom, you hit the U-turn. We made it around the U-turn, so now let me show you what you have to do after you complete it. You're gonna have to come all the way back out and swing back around again, so that way you can hit the serpentine. Now I'll go ahead and show you. So you're right about this point when you exit the U-turn, so then you're just gonna come straight out, kind of swing off to the right, and then swing back around to your left, Boom. Hit the center of the two cones. Hit the center of the two cones. Hit the center again. And you're just gonna do that all the way down. So after I complete that serpentine, I like to loop back around, do a U-turn, and do it the other way. This makes it so you're doing the U-turn the opposite way that you already did it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the drone and give you a nice overhead shot of what this should look like, and then after, I'm gonna give you some tips that will help you successfully complete this. So we finished the exercise, now I'm ready to give you some tips, and yes, I know I didn't execute this perfectly, I just invented this, so I'm still trying to work out the kinks. If you have any suggestions on how to fine tune this exercise, feel free and shoot me an email and let me know. Now on to the tips. Now for my first tip, make sure you're counterbalancing. You have to keep your body perpendicular with the bike and let the bike lean underneath you. This is gonna make your turns a lot sharper and not to mention the bike's gonna be doing the work and not you. Tip number two, keep a steady throttle and stay in the friction zone. If you don't stay in the friction zone, you're not providing power to that rear wheel. When there's no power to that rear wheel, you're gonna fall over. Now the steady throttle comes into play because you gotta have throttle in order to give the wheels power, right? I like to keep my RPMs around 2,000 RPMs. Tip number three, when you're in the single serpentine, make sure to keep your chin and your eyes looking up. You do not wanna look down. If you end up looking down, you're most likely gonna end up hitting the cone or falling over, so don't do that. You wanna be focusing on the very last cone. This will keep you on the straight and narrow. Tip number four, when you enter into the U-turn box, make sure you stick to the outside as close as possible. You don't wanna lose any real estate while you're doing this. Also, while you're performing your turn, make sure you turn your head and eyes over your shoulder looking for the exit. When you turn your head and eyes, this forces you to turn your handlebars, making your turn sharper. On to my next tip. Make sure you're going slow. You do not wanna perform this fast. I keep it between five to six miles per hour. Also, while you're doing this, make sure you're using the rear brake to slow yourself down if you're going too fast. Speaking of the rear brake, you also wanna make sure you're covering it at all times. Oh yeah, and, and never, never use, use the, the front, front brake. brake. You don't wanna use the front brake while you're doing slow speed maneuvers because when you hit it, all the weight shifts to the front end and that's gonna cause the bike to fall over. If you're performing slow speed maneuvers on a Harley Davidson with a hydraulic clutch, dialing in the friction zone can be a little tough. Check out this video right here and I have a solution to this problem. This is Joe Go with Joe Go Motorcycle Adventures. Until next time, ride on.